Hello there! Here is a quick video about the recent published article in the scientific journal Nature Geoscience that says the Earth's inner core stopped rotating and it could even go into reverse according to the Chinese seismologists. You might be asking yourself what do these seismologists have to do with the inner core? The professor of the theoretical physics, Michio Kok, at the City University in New York will answer. Good morning, professor. Good morning, glad to be here. I wonder how did these seismologists know that the Earth's inner core slowed its rotation down? They analyze echoes. Mm -hmm. When an earthquake takes place, shock waves go reverberating around the inside of the Earth. And by analyzing these echoes with computers, you can recreate a model of the inside of the Earth. All right, thanks for joining us today. So before we go any deeper, we should have a look at the Earth's layer. Let's cut the Earth in half using my mom's sharp kitchen knife. Now we have the crust, which we are sipping coffee on, the mantle, the liquid outer core, and the inner core, which became famous recently. In fact, it's as big as Pluto planet. What people aren't really aware of, that if this was true, then we are in a serious trouble, because it's more catastrophic than a nuclear bomb. Tsunami or an earthquake. Back to the core, it rotates independently of the crust. How that is possible? Pure creative comes. Since the outer core is liquid, that means it allows the inner core to rotate at different speeds from the rotation of the Earth itself. In fact, it cycles between slightly faster and slightly slower, relative to the Earth's mantle approximately every 35 years. And it's impossible for the core to reverse, because it can't. It would violate the law of conservation of momentum. Okay, that means we're fine, and there is no need to be a clickbait to those who want to use any time. Thanks for watching.